So tell me about the relationship you have with the Frexa Research Foundation and what it's meant to your lab. Well, this is a relationship that now goes back uh, over 15, year, 15 years. Um, and uh, it's, I can't, uh, I really don't have words to express how important it's been um, for me, for the lab, but I think more broadly for Fragile X. Um, you know, with Fraxa support back in about 2002, uh, we started working in Fragile X. Kim Huber was a postdoc at the time and she got a fellowship from Fraxa. And the work that we did then together sort of gave rise to what's called the Imgluar theory of Fragile X, um, which has really triggered a lot of activity in terms of trying to actually realize the dream of developing therapeutics that are more than symptomatic relief, um, uh, disease-modifying therapeutics. So I think it's had a, a large, I think our work has had a large impact on Fragile X just to show what is possible, but the FRAXA funding has been particularly instrumental. So it's, you know, it's a seed funding that's helped, that we've leveraged many, many times over by securing gr grants from the NIH to support our work. Um, we have established collaborations with pharmaceutical companies. And uh, it, it sort of the value added uh, to a fresh relax grant is, is uh, you know, hundredfold, um, maybe a thousandfold.